Hey, we have here a really long integral from MIT 2023. This was problem number 10. And I thought this was interesting just because, you know, clearly we can do it because it's just polynomial, right? So you think we could just multiply it out and use the power rule. What I want to do is see if we can find maybe some shortcuts or some, maybe kind of a fast way to do this so that we don't have to just brute force multiply everything out. And what I want to notice is we have some commonalities. Like we have, you know, we have one minus X here, one minus X here. Um, each of these terms is repeated in the integral. And so I think what we can do, maybe if we look at a couple of these terms, we can manipulate it into something a little more manageable. To start, I wanna look at x minus x squared and just factor an x out of this and notice that we get a one minus x, which is good because we have that in common with this term. So I think we can use this and when we cube it, of course, we're gonna have x cubed and this term cubed. Um, but let's look at x squared minus one. So that's just a difference of two squares, we can write this as x plus one times x minus one. But then it's clear we can get a one minus x out of here just by bringing a minus out front. So if I write this as minus x plus one, then I can flip the x minus one and write it as one minus x. Then one other thing I wanna do before we put the integral back together is let's look at just x, minus, x squared minus one cubed and what happens using this. Well, we have like a minus one in front here and we cube that, we just have a minus sign. We're gonna have an x plus one cubed and we're gonna have a one minus x cubed. And then from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just rewrite the integral and then wherever we can use these definitions, we'll use them in order to get this common one minus x uh, throughout the integral. Okay, and here, just rewriting this, you notice we've got an even longer expression now, but we have our common one minus x that we can factor out. And you'll notice we have, okay, we have one minus x cubed in these first three terms. Um, but we have a bunch of one minus x's over here. What I'm gonna do is we have this minus one that came from right there. I'm gonna just take that out and make this a plus. And then the other thing I wanna notice, we are actually multiplying one minus x three times over here. Okay, what I can do is we can group those together and just write this as a one minus x cubed there. And what that's gonna allow me to do is I can factor one minus x cubed out of all four of these terms now. Okay, and now I think we're making some good progress. We factored out our one minus x cubed. And then for my next step, I wanna focus on what's inside the parentheses. And what we can do is we can just expand out this x plus one cubed. So I'm just gonna keep my one plus x cubed here. x plus one cubed is gonna be x cubed plus three x squared plus three x plus one. And then I'm just gonna distribute my three x in here. We're gonna have a plus 3x squared, and then we're gonna have a plus 3x dx. Well then notice we have a minus sign on all this stuff. So we're gonna have a bunch of cancellation. 3x squared minus 3x squared, those are gonna cancel. 3x minus 3x, that's gonna cancel. We have an x cubed minus an x cubed, that cancels. One minus one, and this whole thing is zero. So everything in the parentheses is zero, but that we're just multiplying by this, so we, in the end, we're just integrating zero. And what's the integral of zero? It's just zero. <laughs> so that's it, kind of a fun problem, lots of algebra. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.